Now, one of the best parts about this is not the front facing camera, but actually the exterior facing camera. Oh, it's so loud, I hate it. Check this out. And also, I like how the motion is a lot better. Ooh, someone parked their cab. That's a, that's a nice truck cab. Yeah, so check this out. The zoom on this, that's 5.4x. Here's 14x, 20x. Oh, it only goes up to 20x when you're recording video, but when you're shooting photos, it goes up to 100x. 20x is still not bad at all. Let's take a look, yeah. It's decent quality. Nice big camera on this, so I like it. I like it. Look at the look at the color. That's good. You know, it's not gonna help me with that much because I'm facing, you know, the other way. But when I'm gonna have some transportation and when I'm gonna have some free time, we're gonna be oh, let's film a, a plane. Let's double check this plane. Where is it? I hear it, but I can't see it. Uh, when we're gonna be able to, there we take a look at this beast. All right. All right. Yes. We have to focus. We're at 20x. Yeah, pretty decent for a phone camera, right? So a lot of people are asking me sometimes, what do you film with? Well, phones, that's it. If you don't have money for a camera, just film with a phone. And, uh, yeah, here's a nice little bench that we're going to sit on outside of the hotel if we get decent 5G coverage. And this is where we're going to be. This is where we're going to be recording and editing and uploading our videos i guess if we can't get decent signal inside you gotta do whatever so i'm gonna take this camera and we're gonna film around chicago a little bit you know look at the skyscrapers i'm a big fan of the skyscrapers so taking you with me <laughs> it's always a little bit of a rough start you know i kind of feel like an immigrant to this country because it's been so long feels so different right so it makes things a little bit easier the smoother transition if you're kind of traveling exploring around a little bit I'm not into museums, I'm not into a lot of that, but I do love beaches, and I do love buildings, so I'm going to take it to Evanston one day, and I'm going to film some beaches and go to my chill spot and uh, this one Buddhist temple where I meditate. Wow, okay, so there's a bench not too far away, a little bit further away from the hotel. We're at the gas station, and over here I just tested five bars, 5G, and obviously each bar can mean various things, so I tested it out with an LTE app. And through the speed test, we got 94 megabits per second. And upload, surprisingly, was over 10. I know, I'm just kidding. It was actually over 30. So 30, 30, 40 range. You know, it's not going to be consistent, but even 20, I'm happy with that. Because that's going to be just a few minutes right now. It's summer, so I'm able to take my laptop and my backpack. And there we go. Take everything and upload and... You know, we're not going to be aiming for two videos a day because it's still a weird situation, but we're okay. We're okay. Now I just got to watch out for uh, going over the 30 gig hotspot and 100 gig data because they're going to throttle me. And at and is known for also overcharging quite a bit. So I don't want to lose a lot of money because of this, but a month or two and we should be good. And then we got Comcast, everybody's favorite Comcast. Yeah, they're so great that they had to change their name to Xfinity. Just like Time Warner Cable, great stuff. Ooh, a nice vet is going. Man, I'd love a vet. I'd love any car right now. <laughs> Can be anything, except the Dodge Journey. That's just a joke of a car. It's a nice private jet. Ooh, yeah, baby. Just gotta watch out for the focus on this because it's shaky as heck. Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we have a new phone, that means a new camera, upgraded camera, and supposedly better internet. We got AT&T, the reason I had to get a new phone was I discovered that my Polish phone will unfortunately only work really in Europe well. It can work in America under T-Mobile. It is GSM, so it should have been working under T-Mobile and AT&T, but for some reason it wasn't even registrable on AT&T. I tried with Verizon, same thing. And that's probably the reason it was so slow. Now, we have the download speeds correct, and they've gone as far as 71 megabits per second over here in the hotel room, but getting above 1 megabit per second is still very difficult when it comes to upload speed. So hopefully we're going to be able to figure that out pretty soon, but we're on the right track. 
This time, since I was forced to get on a contract, I had to get a new phone. I had to get a contract, and it's going to be a little bit better. There's more data that I can use both for the hotspot and for unlimited, and that always makes me so uh frustrated when they discuss oh yeah it's unlimited text talk internet yeah except when you get to 22 gigabytes we throttle you they don't say we throttle you but they say we might downgrade your internet if the network is congested guess what the network is always congested they're not going to be like oh you know what today we're going to let them slide no nah, that's not going to happen so that would be with a prepaid plan but through the contract the highest unlimited that i can get is a hundred and 30 on the hotspot, which is very important for me because I can't use this hotel Wi-Fi. It's been crashed, and sometimes it just crashes outright, and you can't upload anything for seven hours. I went to Panera, bam, I was able to upload it in 15 minutes. Now, if the download speed was the same as my upload speed, you know, I wouldn't be that upset because I don't really care so much. It's helpful for streaming movies and all this stuff, but if the upload speed was the same as my download speed, oh, I'd be absolutely enamored. I'd be so happy because I'd be able to upload stuff within 10, 15, 20 minutes. But we are able to get better signal right outside of the hotel. So worst case scenario, I'm going to take the laptop outside. We're going to be able to film that way. I'm filming an update today. If possible, we might upload two videos, but I doubt that. I have two videos recorded, including this one. <clears throat> I wanted to film this update because, uh, first of all, it's a big monumental upgrade, I guess you could say. You know, a new phone, new camera, new me. We're finally settling down in America. Tomorrow I'm going in for my orientation at work, and we're just going to figure out, sign contracts, go all through schedules, and, you know, watch company videos probably, and figure out what my job is, and that's it. So hopefully come Saturday or Monday or whenever I start work fully, we're able to get into the groove of things. I'm going to the gym soon. We're going to start working out. Got to sign up for it today. Already went in on a guest pass a couple times. It's it's all right, you know. I'm mainly interested in the swimming pool, so we got to get some goggles. I got accepted into the credit union. I did apply for a car loan. We're going to figure that out tomorrow, whether I'm going to get it or not. So slowly things are moving in the right direction. We're uploading every single day. We're very, very close to 4,000 watch time hours to get monetized. Things were slowed down because of the slow internet. But I guess you could say it's almost been fixed right now. Because even if we're not able to fix it inside, all we have to do is just go a little bit outside. You see, with this old phone, let me show you. With this old phone, I would go outside and I'd lose signal sometimes. So even though it technically worked on T-Mobile, and this is actually much smaller. This is an S10 Plus and it's much smaller than this currently, which is the S21. I wasn't able to get it in 512 gigs or... 256 had to get it 128 which is the same as that because of microchip issues and how i tried with the note i tried with the s20 i tried with a whole bunch of other models i like samsung i'm not a big iphone fan apple sucks i had a i used to have a bunch of iphones don't really want them but uh not even in the store that i was looking at but the entire area within like the nearest 50 100 miles you couldn't even order phones you know when i'd be waiting till till october most important thing for me right now is to a have a working phone and a working internet connection so i'm able to continue uploading but not only that but if i'm going to start studying for school pretty soon i need i need a good internet connection to watch videos to listen to podcasts to be able to live stream to be able to communicate with people through zoom skype whatsapp all of this stuff so without a bad without a good internet connection you are screwed but I just wanted to film this update i know we've lately had a, a bunch of videos that weren't really crypto related but I wanted to show you guys my journey, and, you know, it's not not a lot's happening right now. But we're moving places, and that's the most important thing. And here, let me show you. I got out of storage a bunch of these old hats that I used to have, and we've got this big box right here, 150 hats, listed them on eBay. Hopefully we're able to get rid of them, get some more cash for that. I'm getting rid of any smaller items we might have over here in the States. Nothing is important. The money will go to better use for, for example, for AT&T, for an internet, for a car down payment. Through work, we should be able to get insurance, so that's going to be good. That's going to save me some money. There's going to be dental vision. Like I said in a previous video, pretty soon we're going to be investing in 401ks and in cryptocurrency yet again. We're almost at 1,100 subscribers, so I want to thank each and every one of you. The only thing that kind of worries me is that I haven't really started reselling yet, and I need a car for that because... 
Uh, one day you might have something to resell at Walmart, the next it's at Target, the next you might have to try out five local stores and none of them have it and then you figure out something's limited and it's only going to be out for five minutes and you got to get in line and you got to pre-order and do all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And then if you get the item and you get to sell it, then you have to ship it out through USPS or through UPS or FedEx and then you have to drive it, you have to get the packing material, you have to do this and go all over town, right? That's not going to make any sense with Ubers. That's not going to make any sense. There is no public transit, really. That's going to make sense, uh, both financially and time-wise. For example, it's going to take me 20, 30 minutes by car to get to work. By public transportation, it's going to be over three hours. So you spend three hours on the bus, and then another three hours is just crazy. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. Public transit only works in the U.S. if you live inside of a major metropolitan area, inside of a city. Chicago's not too far away, but you have to be inside the dang city. Or right next door to a direct line by a train or direct line by buses to, like, major towns in your area. And that's it. If you're kind of off to the side, uh-uh, forget about it. You are riding the bus for three, four hours, one way. I was a little upset that, you know, I had to go through credit to get this phone. But at least uh, the credit score wasn't as bad as I thought where I didn't have to do a down payment, we just did taxes because, you know, I'm saving up the down payment for the car. But uh, the credit score is right below the area where it should be for good rates for credit unions and good rates for, well, not great rates, but decent enough, maybe not even good, but decent enough rates to get a car and then we're able to refinance later. Someone posted a comment of which I responded to, oh, just save up like three grand and buy a cheap car. Listen, I mean, car prices shot up. Inflation is shooting up all prices for everything right now. Now, you can't get things. That's why reselling is doing so fantastic for certain people. Crypto has been wild. I mean, we went from thirty-six to thirty thousand to now thirty-eight thousand dollars, all in a matter of a few days. Currently, Bitcoin's almost at forty k again. So I guess that's good news. I don't want to risk getting a junk car that's going to break on me because I still have a car in Europe, and <laughs> that was a cheap car, and I couldn't sell that, even though it's running. It does have some minor issues, and one decent issue it's not major but we're gonna see about what car options i'm able to get it kind of sucks that it's a necessity to live in america with a car but you know it is what it is that's what i was heading into america expecting it was going to be like no surprise there you know hey i'm walking a little bit more now so and that's today's update so thanks for watching i'm not sure how long we're going to be at this hotel there's some very interesting people at this hotel a lot of uh strange Men and women. Hmm. There's a guy across from me that's collecting, I mean, truckloads of plastic bottles and glass wine bottles. And he's just separating it all throughout the night. And I can't sleep because it's like, what is he doing? I have no idea. I've been doing it for days now. <laughs> There's a lot of very interesting people. Well, hopefully the home rebuild is going to be decently finished by next month. So we're able to get out of here. Get a better internet connection at home. And we're going to be able to upload by then probably two videos per day. Oh, I've got to say, I got my first Nifty Gateway withdrawal, finally. Uh, it deposited into my account after four or five business days, just like it said it would. Some people said it would be delayed, but everything's okay. It worked out. Another one should be arriving, hopefully, if on time tomorrow, if not on Monday. You know, it's not a large amount. And then we have a third NFT, my last one that we need to sell, and that might sell after fees for 150 to $200, so that's always going to be nice, going to get that next week, and whatever money I have left over after we pay for the hotel, with the help of my mom, then I'm going to have that for reselling, so currently, reselling makes a little bit more sense, because it's low risk to no risk, even, for example, you purchase something, it doesn't work out, you're able to return and get full 100% refund within 14 days or 30 days for some products. With crypto, it's a little bit higher risk, right? And you're going to pay a lot in fees. Quite an interesting journey, my friends. If I'm able to, I will upload a second cryptocurrency video today. If not, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.